The legends are true. But overwhelming power. The sauce of destiny. Yes. The most legendary sauce has arrived as McDonald's transforms into the anime world of Wickdonald's. The greatest flavors unite in all new savory chili McDonald's sauce to make your 10 piece Wick Nuggets, fries, and Sprite ultra powerful. Unlock manga comics with every meal and sit down for a new anime short every week only at Wickdonald's. Ba da ba ba ba. Go! I participate in McDonald's for a limited time while supplies last. Hi, I'm Brian, and I love Tubi Christmas movies. I'm Dan, and I despise Tubi Christmas movies. I'm Alonzo, and I do and don't have COVID. And this is the, the Take the Hallmark, Hallmark Podcast. Podcast. Take the Hallmark, it's his podcast. <laughs> Brandon and friends host his podcast. <laughs> we hope you like this jolly podcast. <laughs> Well, hello, everybody. Oh, boy. Brian, I came in on a red eye this morning from London. Top of the morning to you. Uh, yeah, so I am, I've been awake for, hip, I think, hip. 68 straight hours. But this is <laughs> this is good right here. This is the stuff. How I was mean, that? Uh, I came all the way back here for a hot girl winter. Yeah. So, you know, but the I, trip's going great. You? Thank yeah. you for asking. Really appreciate you it. You spend about, what, two days there um, with all the, between That's all right. the travel. All the travel that I had to do every morning, I didn't get to experience a lot of it. Uh, but what I did get to experience. How's the clock? The, is it big? The, their clocks aren't as good as ours. Like the chili cheeseburger I get here is way cr- better than what I can get there. But Best the, yes, but yes, of course. But Big Ben, Tower of London, all wonderful. <laughs> The troops say, hey, I don't know what they're called. The things, the things outside. The, red, the, the red coats? Yeah. No, the big, with the big hat outside ah, of the. The red coats. The, the queen's guard, I was, the, or the king's guard, I the, guess. Now. The king's guard <laughs> says, hey. It's funny because they don't talk. <laughs> the riot, dude. That's so funny. I I did, I you know, the fact that we haven't talked about uh, the, the Scotland Wonka incident on this show is honestly a miracle. Yeah. Um, but you are planning on I'm going. I'm taking my kids to a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory tea time, which <laughs> yes. my wife was like, we should, they loved Wonka, the Timothy Chalamet Wonka. They've not seen the Gene Wilder Wonka yet. I know Alonzo is probably very, very offended by that. But I the scene in the tunnel, I think, would have scared them to death. And I, I just didn't want them to watch that yet you know what i saw it when i was four years old and it did scare me to death but i you know those are the kind of calluses a child needs to but it's <laughs> also your favorite like one of your favorite movies of all time rightfully it so is. it's it's oh, one yeah. masterpiece um but my they, they're crazy about wonka like had to buy it on demand when it came out like we've watched wow. it four times at the house they know the entire soundtrack real big on the wonka scrub, well scrub they have Chocolate. we're gonna go to the uh we went excuse me to the the right. Ly- lyceum theater to see the lion king um which was nice. in the west end it was beautiful had a great meal afterwards beforehand we did the charlie and the chocolate factory tea time and it was better than way the better but i saw the headline which was wonka themed events uh is going viral blah blah, blah and i was like uh-oh yeah uh-oh. Yeah, because we had booked this. Because he had told me about it when he booked it. I was like, man, this is going to be great. My wife booked it, and I just found out like right before we left that it was like 50 bucks a person. 50 euros, so like $70 a person. I'm like, we paid $280 for a tea time? But that includes like a full me- I thought a tea time was like... Little you sandwiches. Know, you just sip a tea and eat a biscuit. It's like a full, it's lunch and cocktails, like everything's included. Okay. So it, but on the front end of that, hearing that, I was, there was a bit of uh, sticker well, were shock. You able to, were you able to eat the cups? Yes. The whole, the saucers, everything. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't remember. You, man, <laughs> this is taking a take it quite, what was it? It's kind of like Alonzo has COVID, but doesn't. Whoa. I'm not Whoa. sure if you could eat the saucer or not. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> the Schrodinger's deck the Hallmark today. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but really, just shout out to anybody who could create a, a fire festival of, of Wonka <laughs> is is an impressive feat and uh, honestly would love to meet him. The, but AI the, will destroy us all. What I loved <laughs> is, uh, at this point, this is, a I think, a four-week-old story, so we're very topical here at Deck the Hallmark. But the, <laughs> uh, like, the apology <laughs> response was also clearly written by ai because he was like had had the um the hydroglyphic wallpaper uh, uh, shown up in time this would have been another story or something and it's like the hall what 
Dude, yeah, if I had uh, everybody's money, I would have the statement I would release would have been an Oompa Loompa rhyme. Oh yeah. <laughs> like somehow it ends with me like I've got all your money. Yeah. <laughs> it would Oopsie, be fantastic. Doopsie. I do think he <laughs> Doopity ducks, I ran away with all of your bucks. bucks. Oh, exactly there you right. go. As he as he goes. <laughs> uh, great story uh, from a month ago. Uh you guys ready to talk about hot girl hot girl winter? Born oh, ready, yes. Bran. Mm-hmm. Dude, over under half a dozen stripper pole scenes. <laughs> like, just so I can prepare for the synopsis, do you think? Uh, I'm going to mention them less than a dozen. Okay, okay. A half dozen, yes. Less than a half dozen. A half dozen? <laughs> I said half dozen, yeah. Oh. It's close. I think we might be right on par. Right on par there. We'll I, thought, I thought that might be the case. Alonzo, did you know what you were getting into? Did you read a synopsis before you started the I I did not. All right, Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, for everybody that didn't watch and it. After last week's doozy, you'd think we'd do something a little bit more normal this week. No. Uh, to be Flick originally aired on the on there sometime, and it went a little something like this. Uh, we're in the North Pole. All right. Not a stripper pole. It's the North Pole. It's a normal. We'll get there in a second. How did the camera get on me? It's a normal North Pole. <laughs> It aired sometime. I don't know. It was all uh, and, Figure it out. And Mrs. Claus <laughs> is looking to have... It. If you have little ones... <laughs> yeah. I, I think... Welcome to Brand's Corner. I think this sh- this should be a skip. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think this is a tough one. If you, this if, is a tough if one. If you to- have children, they shouldn't watch this movie. We think. Yes. We're not telling you how to parent, yeah. nor should they listen to this episode of Deck the Hallmark. Yeah. We think. Yeah, I, yeah, we're just going to be talking about what's in this movie, but I do think it, it it's going to lead to more yes. questions and, than you need to and, deal and with. Keep, as a and parent. keep in mind, last week we talked about champagne yes. porn, and we say that's fine. For that's the kids. that but I think is above board. Yes, is no is a no go. Yes, that's correct. There are th- thongs and stripper poles all over the place. Okay, here we go. So, turn it off. Here we go. <laughs> So we're in the North Pole, and uh, Mrs. Claus is looking to have some sexy time with Nick. You know. Saint Nick. Saint Nick. The Saint. Amen. But Nick, Nick's gone. So she's going to have to spend the night alone again. This is becoming a bit, a bit of a reoccurring theme. Even recurring. In the relationship between Mr. and Mrs. Claus. The next day, though, Mrs. Claus, or Jess, if you would like to, and we will. I would not. <laughs> uh, uh, is excited to go on a planned trip with her husband. But apparently all the elves are sick, and she's gonna have, uh, he's going to have to stay to make sure that they don't fall behind. We're only two weeks until Christmas. That's right. And so she's mad, and she decides, I'm going to go on this trip by myself. So she hops on a plane to MIA with her red coat and her pants. She takes out her bags and she leaves them on the sidewalk. Then they get stolen. It's I'm good. done. I'm done. It's good. But it's not bad. It's not bad. That's what happens. She brings out her bags. Uh, Miami. Is Miami. Party in the heat. La la. Party in the hitty. Uh, <laughs> party in the city where the heat is on. <laughs> um, and so she brings out her bags. She's in trying to hail a, a taxi by and doing dance. a dance. She also has magic hands. Yes. She, can turn she does have magic into, hands, but she cannot make yeah. taxis come to her. No, but she can make lights appear. She can make Christmas lights, lights appear, can which appear. Is That's the Christmas. And uh, her suitcases get stolen. Um uh, don't worry, it'll be fine. Uh, but you never it, hear about but it, it does, again. But I, it does happen. Um, mainly, you know, it doesn't matter because she's staying with her filthy rich sister, sister <laughs> uh, Tamira, and uh, she takes Mrs. Claus shopping, obviously, and then to the club. And they're like, okay, no big deal. No big deal here. That's right. You can go to the club. You it's dance fine. If you wanna. That's exactly right. And she's a little bit nervous. She did does tell her to take her wedding ring off. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. She's going to use this time as, you know, time to think about her relationship, obviously. With Saint Nick. With Santa Claus. Saint, yes. Saint, yes. Saint yes. Nicholas. Yes. Popo Gisho. Popo Gisho. Can, can this marriage be saved? Yes. <laughs> so she goes to the club, and um, she's nervous at first, and then she gets out there, and she starts dancing. Yeah. And then she, there's a guy. She starts dancing with this guy. His name is Javier. Javier. And 
They're, uh, I think, they very close to kissing, um, but they don't. And she tells them, hey, I'm married. And uh, that doesn't stop them from continuing the evening, though. They go uh, get some food at a food truck. And um, she's not at all confused about a food truck. I do feel like if uh, she's confused about a lot of things that she sees, but not food trucks. You I skipped do... the part with the drinks. <laughs> what drinks? Where she gets she gets a little. Is that that's new? later. That's later. That's I later. Know, okay. I know. So uh, they're at the food truck thing, and this guy comes up and touches Jess. Javier's not having it. Javier's like, "Hey, stop that right now!" Gets in the mood. They are about to fight, and that is when uh, Jess uses some magic. <laughs> that's right. Uh, this magic, for reasons I don't know, links up. This is again best I can figure. Links up what her son is listening to in his earbuds in the North Pole to their bodies. Hearts. And they start to all do a choreographed dance together. It's like Bluetooth. Yes. Yeah, very, 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 very elaborate simple. Bluetooth. I don't know, man. Uh, the next day, they go to a Christmas PJ party. And uh, <laughs> she meets a filthy rich guy there named Andrew. Andy, Drew, Drew we'll call him Andy. Call him. That's yeah. what her, his friends call him. And um, he helps her when she has one too many drinks and also some cookies that maybe had a little extra something in them. And I will say, I was at first very nervous for Mrs. Claus here. I thought Andy was Drugging could not her. be trusted. Yes. Uh, but turns out he's uh, above board in this regard, um, which is great news because her sister was off having schmexy time in the bathroom uh, with her ex. So whatever. <laughs> Uh, the next day, she finds out that Javier wants to see her again. He sets up a, a picnic on the beach, and they do a photo shoot together. And he tells Mrs. Claus that if she's ever ready to try something new, to let him know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can make all of your... <laughs> Personal and creative needs. I can meet those needs. I can meet those. I can make your creative dreams come true. So there you go. Um, And she's like, good to know. That's right. I'm Mrs. Claus. I am married to a saint. Um, (laughs) She ends the date. She's walking away. Andy's there tying up his boat, as billionaires do. Yeah, he sold his company for uh, $2 billion. And they uh, they hang out. They hang out and they have a good time. The next day, she wakes up. uh, She walks up to the beach and she sees... A pole dancing class. Obviously, <laughs> Javier yep. is taking pictures of the pole dancers all above board, I'm sure, <laughs> and encourages her to get up there. And so, yeah, Mrs. Claus pole dances in this movie. For the first time. <laughs> for the first time. And, of course, this video begins to go viral. So to help raise money for Tamira's nonprofit, she arranges uh, and she agrees to auction off a dance with herself as the hottest pole dancer in Miami, That's as right. you know. Yeah, yeah. So Santa finds out not about the video no. or about the pole dancing, but just finds out that there is an auction out to dance with his wife and realizes that he needs to go to Miami to try to win back Mrs. Claus. He's missing He's missing, he's missing his booth. Mrs. Claus. That's right. And, you know, the L's are starting to get back to work. L's are starting to get back to work, yeah. Son, son can handle it. Yeah, son can yeah. handle it. So she then goes to a gentleman's club. And Javier's there. He d- he dances on her, and that's tough. That's tough to uh, watch. It's a ladies' club. I was about to say, club. not a gentleman's oh, club. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. Thank Flip you. That. It's Thank a you. Male Flip it. Strip re- club. It's gentlemen's <laughs> dancing, <laughs> and um, th- that's a lot. But ladies then it, are tipping. But then it turns into um, the ladies dancing on the poles, including Mrs. Claus. There's Again, another pole does, dancing scene. It does, there, it does transition yeah. to a gentleman's club, apparently, at some point. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Claus is once again right up on there on Equal that pole. Equal opportunity club. That's Exactly right. What it That's is. exactly right. Uh, where the men still get all the tips. So, yeah. you know. Like real life. <laughs> like real life. So uh, she then goes to. So Andy paid $15,000 to win. I hope you dance. <laughs> and uh, this is multiple dance classes. And so uh, shows up to dance class. Andy's there. And, and that is when Nick. 
who I thought for sure was going to catch her dancing on the pole, does not. Um, does spot her, though, dancing, ballroom dancing, uh, with, uh, with Olandi over there. And he's obviously very jealous. He's mad about this. So then Andy tells her, hey, I would like to uh, kind of just live my life with you wherever you are is where I kind of want to be, you know? And that's when she tells him that she's married. Now, she told Javier right away, told Andy not until now. Not until now. Um, and kind of talks about how, you know, I'm, I'm t- I am taking some time away from my husband, but we are still very much married. Married, yes. Um, we do know that uh, he's divorcee. Um, yes, correct. He's which divorcee. We, we, we knew. We knew that. <laughs> Information. Um, but anyways, he's very upset about this. He's very mad. Yeah. Um, and it's just like, I wish I would have known that before, you know, I spent $15,000 to dance with you, but whatever. So uh, she then goes back to her sister's place. She tells her sister, hey, Andy's pretty mad. I think he is not going to give you the $15,000 that he already spent. And so her sister's like, I'm so mad at you. I can't believe you would do this. You're so selfish for like, you know, telling him the truth and blah, blah, blah. She's very wrong here. It's time for the gala, the auction, the auction, the uh, the auction gala. And you know, they're auctioning off some stuff. It's great. Mrs. Claus does end up showing up to support her sister. They make up. And then she's like, Hey, I'm going to need you to pole dance. Uh, because, we still need to make at least $15,000 with uh, Andy not going to be showing up. people are going to auction. Yeah, we'll we'll auction off. (laughs) You're going to strip for money. You're going to strip for money. You're going to strip for money at the scale. It's going to be great. And uh, luckily, she doesn't have to. Oh, my gosh. Two weeks in a row. row. And uh, luckily, (laughs) luckily doesn't have to because Andy does show up. They have a very nice dance together. It's great. Now it's time for the... uh, the auction of people. Um, and uh, that is when Nick shows up. And, you know, Javier comes out and people are saying, we want this much, blah, blah, blah. And uh, actually, first, sorry, uh, Andy's <laughs> ex comes out and he decides to spend money getting her back. So that's spend what money. Want. Spend money. $15,000? Don't know. No. Um, so then Javier comes out. There's a bit of a bidding uh, war going on here. And that is when Nick also comes out That's and right. does his whole speech about, hey, my boo thing. Sorry, I miss you. I want to make, make this and work. that means unofficially oh, he's in the auction. <laughs> he's in the auction. And so there's an auction off. And a strip off. Uh, uh, which So <laughs> we're going to auction off these two men. But whoever gets the highest bid... That's the one, and the other person's out. Don't know for sure, but it turns into a strip off. Uh, yes, yeah, Santa begins to strip yes, off his clothes. Sure does. To show off Javier, there is a woman in the crowd that tells Saint Nicholas, <laughs> "If you get fully nude, I'll give ten thousand dollars." That's right. And he begins to uh, do that. And that is when Mrs. Claus comes up and says, no need to do that. I love you. I miss my life. Miss you. Blah, blah, blah. Great. (laughs) They then have a conversation with Andy and his ex, which I don't know, man. And they're like, hey, he's like, hey, looking at the watch, we got to go. They then leave. They fly away. (laughs) Everybody who is inside then looks up. And that's great. They end up (laughs) back at the North Pole. And uh, they tell their son to get lost, and then they uh, s- s- talk dirty to each other, and he picks her up. They head off screen to do who knows what, and that, my friends, was Hot, Hot Girl, Girl Winter. Winter. We did it. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. I need one. We're going to take a break, and we're going to talk about the movie where... Mrs. Claus pole dances and Santa strips and more here on Deck the Hallmark. The legends are true. Overwhelming power. The sauce of destiny. Yes. 
the most legendary sauce has arrived as McDonald's transforms into the anime world of Wickdonald's. The greatest flavors unite in all new savory chili McDonald's sauce to make your 10-piece Nuggets, fries, and Sprite ultra-powerful. Unlock manga comics with every meal and sit down for a new anime short every week only at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba, go! And participate in McDonald's for a limited time while supplies last. Luxury is meant to be livable. Discover the new leather collection at Ashley with premium quality leather sofas, recliners, and more, all built to last. No matter how many spills, scuffs, or pet-related mishaps come its way, the leather collection at Ashley is made with the durability you need for the whole family. Shop the new leather collection at Ashley and find chairs starting at $499.99 and sofas at $599.99. Ashley, for the love of home. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. We're having a good time. We're talking about hot girl winter. You heard it right. Hot girl winter right here on Deck the Hallmark. Uh, let's break it down. We've got four segments to do that. We're going to start mm-hmm. with a hot take. We're going to share exactly how we felt about this movie. I'm going to start with you, Alonzo. Alonzo, what did you think about hot girl winter? Well, about five minutes into it, Dave walked in the room and asked me what this movie was about. And when I explained it to him, he goes, oh, so this is an entire film made of wait, what's? <laughs> uh, and that's basically what we're looking at here. Yep. Like the, the, so many leaps of logic and, okay, when, when, um, yeah, uh, which we will obviously dutifully unpack, but... Yeah, I, I will say this. There is there's kind of a, a legendary thing they always tell actors where like if they ask you at an audition, you know, do you juggle? Um, you know, can you speak French? Always say yes, you know, and then like if you get the job, you can try and figure it out later. And I'm thinking they asked the lead actors, can you pole dance? And she was like, oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, and then it turns out she cannot, but somehow her pole dancing becomes a viral sensation. That's and right. every time she's and every time she's called upon to do it is when the movie does the most editing. Yep. Um, so, like, that's a big honking thing right there of, like, you've made it central to the movie. And yet, rather than cast someone who could do it or even, like, put in a double in the same dress, we're just going to, like skate right by it so yeah there's that's just that is one of many elements in this movie that hold up to zero scrutiny Mm. bran listen (laughs) having santa claus strip on stage is blasphemous uh i was offended (laughs) i was concerned because i was going to have to talk about it it's not my santa i'll say that much my Santa is a jolly fellow who has a wonderful time making toys, being a good boss to the elves, and is in a loving relationship with his wife. Uh, I don't know what this was, uh, but it, uh, it hurt me. It hurt me. This movie would have been better. If they just weren't, if they yeah. just, they, there was no point in making them Santa and Mrs. Claus other than the initial reveal of Mrs. Claus wanting to have sexy time with Santa. And you go, oh, this, oh, that's, that's what we're doing here, huh? Aside from that. It really does not matter no, that she is missing. Sure, sure, she can do some magic, magic that again D- doesn't ever come does into not play matter. Ever. Aside from helping Javier get out of a fight with magic, I still don't understand, and I saw it. Um, yeah, it's you know, it's 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 tough. Here's the thing: when it comes to filmmaking ability, obviously this is a better movie than what we saw last week. Um, in basically every conceivable, conceivable way it's, uh, better. Uh, but yeah, just was, uh, I, I was having a, uh, an okay time until I wasn't. And then I was just kind of like, yeah, I don't know. Um, so give me last week's movie over this one. If you can believe it, that's where I'm at. Dana, weirdly enough, I also prefer last week's movie, but it's because that movie, there's no money behind it or any, that is like exactly what Alonzo said last week, which is 
if you just slap a title on this and you make a movie for ten thousand dollars, Roku's going to pay you fifty thousand, and then everybody wins. That's what happens there. This movie has like some money and filmmaking behind it, and it is unquestionably worse. It could have been because I had to watch it with ads, so I was sitting there for the better part of two hours watching this movie. But I've never seen a movie take less time. To or care in establishing that a character is Santa Claus than this movie. I, I've never like we say this guy's Santa. It, only because we say it does it make it true. The the North Pole in this movie is a house in suburbia. That, and we just there's snow outside and we're like we're in the North Pole. No, you're not. You're in a house with an HOA. That 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 is not the North Pole. The 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 premise of this movie is actually a, f- a fine premise if they had actually put time into making like no one knows she's Mrs. Claus. No one knows he's Santa. They don't take any time into hiding that. They just are like nobody knows. Uh the North Pole doesn't have any elves, doesn't have any reindeer, doesn't have anything magic about it. It's just a a three bed two bath with a bonus room. That's all it is. And and so if you had taken more less time on the pole dancing front and more time on the let's make a magical North Pole and then Santa and Mrs. Claus are on the outs, I'm kind of in on that movie. Sure. That, that, that's a good idea for a movie. What this is is just a series of unfortunate events that don't make any sense. I mean, when Santa gets to Miami, he's wearing like – He's wearing like long sleeves and he's like dying of heat and is taking his clothes off. Uh, a woman walks by in a in a thong bikini. He takes a long look at it and goes, "Miami during the daytime. That's what I'm talking about." That's this movie. That's this movie. There is they have nowhere to go all day to get there and it's a it is quite a plot that they just decide not to use. This is one of my least favorite movies I've ever watched for for this podcast. I like I think it was the ads. I think the fact that it felt like 2 hours <laughs> killed me, but it was so frustrating to watch this movie. I, I also it. think though um as you we were talking I was re- thinking about the fact that you know what's worse than the love triangle on when calls the heart is a love triangle in the movie when you know she's not going to pick either one. either one of them so at least That's we right. know uh, she elizabeth is going to pick lucas or nathan or, or both in flip nathan. flops That's right yes. it's going to be one of those two unless she ends up with gowan and then again all bets are off all bets are off sure. but <laughs> this is throughout the movie she's in a love triangle where you know that she's not going she's to gonna end up with santa That's you know right. like yeah. it's just how it's gonna be so it just doesn't matter like you're like what are we why are yeah. we doing all this yeah, 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 yeah. what are we doing here uh it's time for all the fields we we're talking about what gave us those feels uh alonzo uh i will say there is ex- exactly one gag in this movie that lands and that is when uh santa shows up at his hotel in miami and starts talking to the front desk gal with like the information that he has because he's santa but it sounds like he's a creepy stalker uh <laughs> and she says am i gonna have to call security uh and so that made me laugh yes. um that's kind of about it feel wise uh, you know but yeah you're right and this movie acts like nobody in Miami has ever seen a woolen before <laughs> like even at the airport you can't get off uh, the plane from a from a snowy location and if you are not already wearing like a Tommy Bahama shirt that's you right. are shunned that's right it was yep. crazy yeah i i uh, to the to your first point uh, they didn't do nearly enough of that they didn't do nearly enough of the 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 really the fish out of water stuff like obviously she's like confused when but, she first yeah, walks into a club and then barely. immediately gets into it. She's confused at PJ Christmas party and, and immediately gets into it. So it's she's confused at pole dancing and immediately, immediately does gets it. into it. That's right. Um, but when she's walking through the airport and she's doing magic, I'm like, okay, we got some fun going on here. No. And then you realize that magic is relatively worthless. That's right. She can't even <laughs> use magic to get a taxi. And so uh, it, 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 she does not utilize magic nearly enough in this movie. And that was a disappointment. But when it first started, I was very excited about the prospect of Mrs. Claus in Miami with magic at her uh, fingertips. But what can you do? Of course. Um, we do find out in one throwaway line of dialogue in this film that Santa gets a gap year. Um, Santa, in, son of Santa, yes, a rum sprigger, yes, son, or yes, taking exactly right, yeah, son of Santa does a full internship and then gets a year That's before nice. starts as a professional Santa. 
And I find that to be quite, quite charming. And the idea that, that before you really have to dig in for the rest of your life, you get one year to just go down to the States or wherever. But also the pressure's on. If you don't find a wife in that year. Yeah, that's right. Like, true. when it's are true. you going to? You can't, like, yeah. Christmas Eve isn't really the time to do and that. And Charleston, South Carolina gets a shout out. <laughs> shout out. Right. Yep. Big. big uh, uh, or, or husband, as seen in the popular uh, children's book. Oh. What? What? Children's Santa's book? husband. Have y'all seen this? No, book? I haven't no. heard about this. It's very charming. There you go. Um, let's take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll get to the wait what. We'll get to to be or not to be. That's just easy. Right? easy. Um, and uh, so much more here on Deck the Deck Hallmark. The Hallmark. Your Space Coast vacation is preparing for liftoff. Start counting down now. 10, 9, 8, 7. It's time for a beach vacay that feels like heaven. 6, 5, 4. Come explore Melbourne and the beaches. 3, 2, 1. It's time for some rocket-filled fun. Count down to your best beach vacation ever on Florida's Space Coast. Launch your planning now at visitspacecoast.com. The legends are true. But overwhelming power. The sauce of destiny. Yes! The most legendary sauce has arrived as McDonald's transforms into the anime world of Wickdonald's. The greatest flavors unite in all new savory chili McDonald's sauce to make your 10 piece Wick Nuggets, fries, and Sprite ultra powerful. Unlock manga comics with every meal and sit down for a new anime short every week only at Wickdonald's. Ba da ba ba ba. Go! And participate in McDonald's for a limited time while supplies last. Welcome back to Mrs. Claus Pole Dances. Uh, we're having a good time. Uh, it's time for the Wait Was, where we talk about what in this movie, Hot Girl Winter, made us go, wait, what? Alonzo, anything? Oh, golly, let me dig really deep. No, th- <laughs> okay, this is the one humongous Wait What that I think overhangs this entire film, which is the one that when I told Dave this was the premise, he couldn't believe it. Mrs. Claus is mad that Santa will not take a vacation with her two weeks before Christmas. Absurd. Absolutely absurd. Like, (laughs) ma'am, there's a deadline coming up. Maybe you can take that trip after. It's an annual trip. She mentions that it's annual. Can you imagine How they ever done this? like going to your your CPA spouse <laughs> on April first and being like, hey, bingo. Are, are we not going to the Caribbean for for a week? That is what she's mad about in this movie. Yes, the two <laughs> weeks before the December eleventh getaway. You got to be kidding me. That's crunch yeah. time, man. Yeah. No. Yeah, that is like, and we're supposed to like side with her and think, oh yeah, you're right. Why isn't he dropping everything two weeks before like the massively busiest day of the year? You know. Uh, so yeah, that that is uh, cuckoo bananas. Um, so yeah, so she she gets to Miami and her her one little magic thing is she keeps walking by these trees and waving her hand and they get all twinkly and stuff. But the problem with that is that she's walking by the same tree like three times. <laughs> it's like watching an old Scooby-Doo cartoon where there's a chase down a hallway and they run past the same painting and vase and door over and over yep. again. Yeah. Every time she's like, wait, that, you just you just that, did that. That's the same tree. It keeps cutting off. The magic's not strong enough. <laughs> Clearly not. Um, I have big questions about who... Why does no one know that she's Mrs. Claus? No one. How long has she been Mrs. Claus? What does she know and not know about the world? Because this movie is sometimes like, oh, yeah, we've been together for 30 years now. And other times she just seems like she's been living on the North Pole since the 19th century but, and just has no idea of how anything is, is happening or what's what works. Yeah, we, so that was that's just really puzzling that like the film could not nail one down there. We were talking about that. And it's the thing that's tough is, is that Santa's like, I went to Charleston, South Carolina, and I met her. She was just out of college. Yeah. So right. this woman, regardless of what she's been for the last however many decades, she spent all the way until she was 22 or 23 as just an American citizen. So yeah. the idea that she wouldn't know music or a dance club or whatever is crazy town. Unless yeah. she's been Mrs. Claus for the thousand years, which is not the case based upon the other words that they've used to describe their situation. 
Uh, I I wrote down. Uh, by the way, is, is this woman her actual sister, sister. or is it? Yeah, she, when I she think, says sister, I didn't know if she meant that. Well, like, we you know. started off, and it was this thing where they they the kid called her auntie, and it was like, all right, that's just a a, a name, a term of endearment. And then as we kept going, there was one part in the movie after the third time they said sister. It's like she looks at her sister and says, "Do you remember when mom? Not when my mom uh, or your mom. Do you remember when mom?" And at that point, I was like. These two are sisters. And if you're listening, the way they explain this is Mrs. Claus took met a man who works in Alaska, and she moved up there, and no one's visited her since, basically, is how yeah. we're supposed to he understand He runs that. a manufacturing plant That's in right. Alaska Correct. is the cover story, and no one has bothered to go uh, investigate that yeah. one. Anyway, I wrote down that the sister was pimping her out to the rich guy, yes. who I also refer to as the third most interesting man in the world. <laughs> um, but then later in the movie, somebody actually says, you're pimping me. So I'm like, okay, well, then at least we're acknowledging, acknowledging what's going, what's on, going on Exactly. Um, yes. So so Javier takes her on a beach date and there's this little like kind of little half tent and a table with some, it looks like one of those dates on the bachelor. Like yeah. it is so, it is so inorganic yeah, and of so like, you know, stage I'm like, okay, well maybe, maybe she'll get that rose. I don't know. <laughs> um, she will. That you got to go back and watch this one. So when she goes out to lunch with the third most interesting man in the world, uh, <laughs> the background that they have between the camera and their table, this this couple is sharing a salad. And at one point, the woman like sticks her fork in and pulls out like an entire huge leaf of <laughs> romaine lettuce. Man. That's do we great. do a second take? No, no, no uh, we're just just we got roll it. with it. We got it. Keep, Let's move. Keep going. No one. But, will oh know man, or talk about that. It. That one uh, cracked me up. And that uh, I was not ready for a thirst trap. Santa saw him live. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I have to say, like, I kind of wish that this movie had been bold enough to sexualize a traditionally chubby Santa. Yeah. You know, that like Santa only gets to take his shirt off if he's got an eight pack. And it's like, well, what if both, you know, what but if Santa was the guy from HGTV uh, that we saw in that name? movie? What? For instance, for instance. For, if we're just spitballing, yes, here, of yes. course, um, I will say it became very obvious to me early on. Why does Santa look like he does? It's because this movie features heavily the strip pole and he is going to strip later. Like that was the gun at that point. That was that you were, <laughs> you were going yeah. to see that dude shirtless. Why else did they, but you're right. It was very clear from the first time you see him. We know it's happening at the end of this movie. Yeah. yeah. I, I will say though, speaking of the, the club or the, the gentleman stripper club, um, those are some demure, uh, Christmas themed outfits. Those guys are wearing like those are the male equivalent to granny panties in uh. terms of like what a go-go dancer actually wears yeah. that lot. There was a lot of coverage, a lot you of know, coverage. The, the, <laughs> It was a coverage. TV 16 situation. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, let's just, let's be clear about that. Oh, and then the, the other thing was the, when he's going to Miami to, to try and save his marriage, the son says, well, why don't you take the sleigh? And the dad's like, no, it's December 20th. It's too close to Christmas. So it's oh, like, okay, yeah. fine. He's going to take the mail plane. He's going to go the way that she left. But then when they leave, oh, they take the started. sleigh that's, that's right. on the ceiling that everyone can hear. That's right. Everyone hears the everyone sleigh hears when they it. leave. And we, they specifically said they weren't taking the sleigh. It, it's just yeah. so obvious. Man. It's tough. Read it, read you it, know, it. And again, as, as in the first Christmas in Evergreen, everyone realizes that, oh, gosh, I guess that was Santa. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Back to <laughs> Back our to dance. Dance. Had a good time. <laughs> uh, I've got a few as well. One, I've never felt for a group of extras more than I felt for the extras at the airport. That oh. as they are being yelled oh, at man. by this woman, did anyone see my luggage? They're all just like, don't speak. <laughs> That's right. We have to pay you. <laughs> it is a, so much just like staring and looking. And <laughs> I just felt so, so bad. Like just, <laughs> just give, give them something or just get one person that can talk to make that scene a little bit better. Cause it's long and they, all they have to, all they get to do is just look at each other. Like <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you me, you mean just keep their mouths closed and nod. <laughs> there is a throwaway line and I might have like understood it incorrectly, but when she's at the, uh, uh, food truck with Javier. Uh, she uh, tells him that 
she knows a guy who has gotten every letter that he's ever sent, which he doesn't really blink an eye at. But does Santa get every letter? No matter if it's to this him is or where not, we have a, a Santa God crossover what situation. Is, is he able to just <laughs> see it all? Dangerous, it's dangerous out there. Because she like, I think she like knew something about his I letters. Think it's, I don't, it's like the real person line. What she meant to say is someone who sent every letter you've ever sent to him. Yes, there but you go. There tough, you go. tough. Um, I don't know. I if if a video of a random woman pole dancing on a beach in Miami is going to go viral, but it doesn't this this movie. So I guess we should all say yes. But I don't know if it would. I don't, I don't know if it would. Um, There's a whole class, like whole this, class. This pole dancing class takes place outside in the middle of a park. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. What? <laughs> And if that does, then wouldn't like a video go viral every week? Every like, week, somebody's going to be happens. taking a video. It happens, yeah. you know, for kids. For, for kids. kids. For the kids. Um, so they. The reason why Santa says that he can't go is because the elves are all sick. So we have to stay here and make sure that everything gets done. And then he and his son proceed to never leave that room. No. They never leave their his like office. Nope. They never go to the workshop. They never actually do any of the elf work. Uh, so who knows if anything actually got done there. But they do a great job of staying staying right there. We <laughs> do that. get stock footage of the Northern Lights, though. Yeah, you you got that. That. we got that yeah. good. good. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Um, Above their normal house. So Santa's son comes up to him and he's like hey mom is being bid on again and it's like hey there's a there's an auction um you've got a bid blah 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 and the winner right now is bid fifteen thousand dollars right and nick is like who is this guy and luckily for him i guess this bidding website gives you all the information right. about the person yes. who is the leading bidder That's right. because he's like, oh, he's a tech billionaire, sold his company. You shouldn't be able to know no. that. No. Imagine on e- like if you were bidding, if Ryan was bidding on something on eBay and could find out the person, personal information of the person who's Currently higher than him on bidder. the VHS, DVD, a Blu-ray yeah. uh, combination. If you see they're a billionaire, you're like, I'm not even bidding on this. I there's mean, no way I'm going to be able to keep um, up with Imagine it. being able to know but that also there's a picture of him at dinner with mrs yeah, claus I don't know how you got that picture. on the bidding site this but, seems to be a little bit biased or, or you should only know that because you're santa yes, yes. right yeah so maybe that's maybe that's what they were trying to show us that santa's son has the power to know like to know stuff but all, if that's the case Saint nick should not be surprised by any of this he right. should then obviously if you can uh, know when someone's sleeping awake and all that stuff, you should also know if your wife is in the club dancing with Javier, right? Like you yes. should be able to know no. that information. Uh, last but not least, and I think it's my favorite one, we finally get to the auction gala and we find out that the name of the foundation is the Jingle Time Foundation. Yes. Um, and Jingle they Time put foundation. this on the banner with a lowercase j to start <laughs> off the whole thing. The Jingle Time Foundation. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, Dan? Uh, If anyone has ever deserved to have their luggage stolen at an airport, it is this woman. (laughs) Don't feel bad for you. I know it's one of the worst things to happen. This woman rolls her suitcases outside and puts them 20 feet away from her. She (laughs) She stops holding them, takes seven to ten paces away, back to her luggage, to dance just to dance Uh, no one feels bad for you mrs claus hold on to your luggage no one like at that point that's just free to a good home that's not (laughs) that's not yours anymore you you've left it uh the first time mrs claus goes into a bar the bar top is plastered with flyers and those flyers are advertising a secret pop-up shop (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's one it's one of those pop-up shops that you shouldn't tell anybody about Shh, don't, because don't, don't, we've don't. printed six trees worth of paper <laughs> and plastered the walls of every eating and drinking establishment on the upper east side of miami what are what are you doing what are you doing it's not secret tell no one does it even come up again like does she go no to that? no it doesn't come up again at all oh man um, okay. This movie is just as 
filled with plot holes as last week's movie, but with better filmmaking. It really is. The The billionaire she meets says, hi, my name is Andrew or Drew. My friends call me Andy. Pick a lane, bro. That's one too many. You can't do that. Like Alonzo, oh, or, or he starts with like with Andres, I think, like yeah, originally. And then, yeah. Like Alonzo wants you to call him Alfonso, but he's not going to say that to you. <laughs> you got to figure that out yourself. Stop. <laughs> Don't call him Alfonso. His guy's no. his name's Alonzo. Um, this billionaire billionaire <laughs> he sold his company for two billion dollars ties up his own tiny tiny yacht that is not a euphemism he goes out to the dock and ties up his own yacht and his yacht is a yacht that a middle class person could afford it's absurd <laughs> He has seemingly no staff whatsoever. None. He drives himself places. He's just, you know. Yeah. He's a baller he's, he's, on a budget. He's the people's billionaire. That's right. right. He's the, all that money's in a Roth. He, he, <laughs> he, hasn't, he hasn't spent a dime. And when he pulls it out, it's tax free, bees. He doesn't have to pay any taxes on it. He's out thinking the room. So stupid. <laughs> Uh, I don't understand this event. They, the Jingle Time Foundation is off to a rocky start. It seems like everything's going wrong. Um, she's helping run this event. And then the way I understand it on the front side of it is is that they were supposed to be bidding on the hottest dancer in Miami, and they didn't have that person. And then she happens to go viral, and so they have her be the person you bid on. All right. A stretch, but fine. So now they open up the bidding not at the auction. They open up the bidding earlier on, right? So the bid is up to $15,000 as we see because we go to the North Pole and they're like, there's one minute left in the bidding. If all the bidding takes place ahead of time, why is there? Why are we there? Why are, why are we even here? Um, and then we find out that that $15,000 includes like a dancing with the stars routine, like a pra all these practice dances. So you can basically you're paying to perform. <laughs> you're paying $15,000 to get on stage and have to do a routine in front of other people who then are there to bid on like a bachelor bachelorette auction at which I, it doesn't ever quite come together for me and it doesn't make any sense at all. And then it just gets worse from there. It's just not how an auction works in general. Um, the, when Santa tells the story of meeting Mrs. Claus, he's like, I met her down in South Carolina, and she just had this, mm. and then he said, the Southerners call it charism. And I rewound, we rewound that and put the subtitles on. And the, 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 the subtitle said C-H-A-R-I-S-M, charism, like a short slang word for charisma. I've never heard that, and so I looked it up. It was nowhere to be found. I, I, I couldn't. Google had hide nor hair of this word charism and it being used in the South to mean charisma 30 years ago. I, I don't know where they got that. I would love more information on it, uh, but I didn't get that, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Um that's all I've got for now. It's time for to be or not to be. It's when we have uh, any questions that we would like to uh, get some answers to. Alonzo, what are you still wondering about? Well, the the ending seems to imply that they have handed the literal reins of the operation over <laughs> to the son, yeah. who's now going to be the new Santa. And so do, uh, is this like a retired pope situation where he goes, <laughs> they go live a, in like a separate domicile? Like what happens now to the clauses? Do they just get to travel whatever they want now? Um, yeah, it, it, it seems to me like he's still too young to retire, but obviously his needy wife requires more attention from him in the weeks leading up to his busiest day of the year. So <laughs> I just want to know how that's going to work out. Uh, yeah, my question is, when can you tell somebody uh, that you are Santa or that you are Mrs. Claus? Because obviously he meets a standard college student from charleston and at some point he had to tell her he had to yes. tell her that mm. he is santa claus and yet her sister from birth doesn't doesn't know, know. correct believes that they live in alaska when are you allowed to tell somebody that you are santa or that you are in the Claus family. Fair. That would be my also, question. Also, Santa's not even in on the Alaska ruse because yeah, when they mention it in front of him, he's looked baffled. So, like, is he? Would he You're be right. fine? And she's just like embarrassed. Like, what? What is it? Yeah, what does he one. think they think? Yeah, you know? I don't know. 
Mm. I don't know. Uh, Dan? Yeah, mine's the Jingle Time Foundation. Jingle that, Time? That's a, that's a front, right? We're on the same page there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lowercase j for... for 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 God's sake. Goodness sake. sake. It is it is Ooh. not No, 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 no. No one no one in that movie, no character can articulate for me exactly what the Jingle Time Foundation she, does. She has that house, lost her job within the year, and started the Jingle Time Foundation with a lower case. Her house day. has an indoor pool, people. Oh, it, yeah. I, the, 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 the house and her unemployment is another, wait, what, that I forgot yeah, about. Her house is an indoor pool. She does not have a job, but runs a foundation that can't capitalize <laughs> itself, and it's called the Jingle Time Foundation. <laughs> Something shady's going on. I don't know what it is, but something is. Where you do an auction mm. before and during, yeah, whatever. But it's a before it's and right. during auction situation. And the money that you get, like, here's the, Andy, Andy said I'm giving $15,000, right? Does two classes, and then it's like, I'm out. Her sister then says, well, you got to get out there and you got to make sure we get $15,000. Just shake your mind. And it's back. like, what ha- what happened? Did you not run his credit card? Yeah, the how did that, that happen? Was over? How did it happen? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we did it, though, yeah, everybody. Congratulations. I got to get back on a flight, guys. I got to get going. You get out of here. Hit. Next week, uh, we're going to be heading over to uh, BET Plus for Never Alone for Christmas. Mm. Never Alone for Never Christmas. Alone. That's where we're going to be going. Until then, may we be the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast is produced by Aaron Shea. What? For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on the Deck the Hallmark family, you can go to Bramble Jam Plus. Com. Deck the Hallmark is presented by Philo TV. For a free trial of Philo, go to philo.tv slash DTH. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here in the old studio. Thanks for listening or don't listen. It's really up to you at this point. It's at the end of the show. I mean, you're listening to me. Hi. But here they come. I promise they're coming. Yep. Here they are. Happy day. Kohler Smart Toilets introduce a new standard of design and cleanliness, sculptural forms, intuitive technology, and total personalization with integrated warm water cleansing, heated seats, and warm air dryers. For peace of mind and convenience, there are touchless lids, seats, flush, and a self-sanitizing bidet wand. Now you can even use voice commands with Numi 2.0, featuring built-in Amazon Alexa. Explore the complete lineup at Kohler.com slash smart toilets and discover what you've been missing. Start clean with Clorox because Clorox delivers a powerful clean every time. Because messes happen. Because... Hey, honey, you know your dad's world-famous chili. Yeah, the one that takes 24 hours to make. So I was trying to help out and bring the pot to the table, but it was like super hot. And then I um dropped it, and now the floor looks all, you know, stained with chili. Look, the point is, you guys cool with pizza for dinner? <laughs> honey? Ooh, yeah, that happens. So start clean with Clorox. Use Clorox products as directed. The legends are true. The overwhelming power. The sauce of destiny. Yes! The most legendary sauce has arrived as McDonald's transforms into the anime world of Wickdonald's. The greatest flavors unite in all new savory chili McDonald's sauce to make your 10-piece Nuggets, fries, and Sprite ultra-powerful. Unlock manga comics with every meal and sit down for a new anime short every week only at Wickdonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba, go! And participate in McDonald's for a limited time while supplies last. Luxury is meant to be livable. Discover the new leather collection at Ashley with premium quality leather sofas, recliners, and more, all built to last. No matter how many spills, scuffs, or pet-related mishaps come its way, the leather collection at Ashley is made with the durability you need for the whole family. Shop the new leather collection at Ashley and find chairs starting at $499.99 and sofas at $599.99. Ashley, for the love of home. Hey, parents, Greenlight is here to take one big thing off your to-do list, teaching your kids about money. With a Greenlight debit card and money app of their own, kids and teens learn to earn, save, and invest. You can send money instantly, set flexible controls, and get real-time notifications of your kids' money activity. Set up chores and put allowance on autopilot to reward them for their hard work. Then learn about the world of money together. Get one month free when you sign up at greenlight.com slash podcast.
Kohler Smart Toilets introduce a new standard of design and cleanliness, sculptural forms, intuitive technology, and total personalization with integrated warm water cleansing, heated seats, and warm air dryers. For peace of mind and convenience, there are touchless lids, seats, flush, and a self-sanitizing bidet wand. Now you can even use voice commands with Numi 2.0, featuring built-in Amazon Alexa. Explore the complete lineup at Kohler.com slash smart toilets and discover what you've been missing. Start clean with Clorox because Clorox delivers a powerful clean every time. Because messes happen. Because... Hey, honey, you know your dad's world-famous chili. Yeah, the one that takes 24 hours to make. So I was trying to help out and bring the pot to the table, but it was like super hot. And then I um dropped it, and now the floor looks all, you know, stained with chili. Look, the point is, you guys cool with pizza for dinner? <laughs> honey? Ooh, yeah, that happens. So start clean with Clorox. Use Clorox products as directed. The legends are true. But overwhelming power. The sauce of destiny. Yes! The most legendary sauce has arrived as McDonald's transforms into the anime world of Wickdonald's. The greatest flavors unite in all new savory chili McDonald's sauce to make your 10 piece Wick Nuggets, fries, and Sprite ultra powerful. Unlock manga comics with every meal and sit down for a new anime short every week only at Wickdonald's. Ba da ba ba ba. Go! And participate in McDonald's for a limited time while supplies last. Luxury is meant to be livable. Discover the new leather collection at Ashley with premium quality leather sofas, recliners, and more, all built to last. No matter how many spills, scuffs, or pet-related mishaps come its way, the leather collection at Ashley is made with the durability you need for the whole family. Shop the new leather collection at Ashley and find chairs starting at $499.99 and sofas at $599.99. Ashley, for the love of home. Hey, parents, Greenlight is here to take one big thing off your to-do list, teaching your kids about money. With a Greenlight debit card and money app of their own, kids and teens learn to earn, save, and invest. You can send money instantly, set flexible controls, and get real-time notifications of your kids' money activity. Set up chores and put allowance on autopilot to reward them for their hard work. Then learn about the world of money together. Get one month free when you sign up at greenlight.com slash podcast. Kohler Smart Toilets introduce a new standard of design and cleanliness, sculptural forms, intuitive technology, and total personalization with integrated warm water cleansing, heated seats, and warm air dryers. For peace of mind and convenience, there are touchless lids, seats, flush, and a self-sanitizing bidet wand. Now you can even use voice commands with Numi 2.0, featuring built-in Amazon Alexa. Explore the complete lineup at Kohler.com slash smart toilets and discover what you've been missing. Start clean with Clorox because Clorox delivers a powerful clean every time. Because messes happen. Because... I got the charcoal mask. Great, because why would I put that on my face when I could drop it in my sink? This is what I get for multitasking. Ugh, why is charcoal so sticky? <clears throat> Hello? Hey, Janice. I am so sorry. I thought I was on mute. <laughs> no, we don't need to reschedule. I'll just stay off camera. Ooh, yeah, that happens. So start clean with Clorox. Use Clorox products as directed. The legends are true. But overwhelming power. The sauce of destiny. Yes. The most legendary sauce has arrived as McDonald's transforms into the anime world of McDonald's. The greatest flavors unite in all new savory chili McDonald's sauce to make your 10 piece Wick Nuggets, fries, and Sprite ultra powerful. Unlock manga comics with every meal and sit down for a new anime short every week only at McDonald's. Ba da ba ba ba. Go! I participate in McDonald's for a limited time while supplies last. Luxury is meant to be livable. Discover the new leather collection at Ashley with premium quality leather sofas, recliners, and more, all built to last. No matter how many spills, scuffs, or pet-related mishaps come its way, the leather collection at Ashley is made with the durability you need for the whole family. Shop the new leather collection at Ashley and find chairs starting at $499.99 and sofas at $599.99. Ashley, for the love of home. Hey, parents. 
Greenlight is here to take one big thing off your to-do list, teaching your kids about money. With a Greenlight debit card and money app of their own, kids and teens learn to earn, save, and invest. You can send money instantly, set flexible controls, and get real-time notifications of your kids' money activity. Set up chores and put allowance on autopilot to reward them for their hard work. Then learn about the world of money together. Get one month free when you sign up at greenlight.com slash podcast. Kohler Smart Toilets introduce a new standard of design and cleanliness, sculptural forms, intuitive technology, and total personalization with integrated warm water cleansing, heated seats, and warm air dryers. For peace of mind and convenience, there are touchless lids, seats, flush, and a self-sanitizing bidet wand. Now you can even use voice commands with Numi 2.0, featuring built-in Amazon Alexa. Explore the complete lineup at Kohler.com slash smart toilets and discover what you've been missing. The legends are true. We're overwhelming power. The sauce of destiny. Yes! The most legendary sauce has arrived as McDonald's transforms into the anime world of Wickdonald's. The greatest flavors unite in all new savory chili McDonald's sauce to make your 10 piece Wick Nuggets, fries, and Sprite ultra powerful. Unlock manga comics with every meal and sit down for a new anime short every week only at Wickdonald's. Ba da ba ba ba. Go! I participate in McDonald's for a limited time while supplies last. Luxury is meant to be livable. Discover the new leather collection at Ashley with premium quality leather sofas, recliners, and more, all built to last. No matter how many spills, scuffs, or pet-related mishaps come its way, the leather collection at Ashley is made with the durability you need for the whole family. Shop the new leather collection at Ashley and find chairs starting at $499.99 and sofas at $599.99. Ashley, for the love of home. Hey, parents, Greenlight is here to take one big thing off your to-do list, teaching your kids about money. With a Greenlight debit card and money app of their own, kids and teens learn to earn, save, and invest. You can send money instantly, set flexible controls, and get real-time notifications of your kids' money activity. Set up chores and put allowance on autopilot to reward them for their hard work. Then learn about the world of money together. Get one month free when you sign up at greenlight.com slash podcast.